Okay, so I'm going to use a the Redken Pillow Proof Primer for her blow dry primer. And don't breathe this in; you will die. And then I'm going to use the Prepping Blow Dry Lotion. So just one squirt of this. Her hair's short now; she doesn't need 30 squirts like she used to. And just rub it through your hands, and then just work it through the ends up to the scalp. And I usually start in the back when I add this stuff in, so that by the time I go like this in the front, it's just a little teeny film left on my hands. All right, so we have her hair prepped for blow dry. And the picture you showed me, it didn't have a ton of body. It wasn't big hair. It was kind of just natural and flat. So I'm not going to worry about putting mousse or anything in her hair. We're just going to like let it be sleek and blow dry it flat. All right, so I'm going to be using this um, Denman brush just to do like a flat wrap blow dry on her. Um, these are awesome for blow drying when you don't want to have like a ton of body up here. You can create body just by pushing the hair up like this if you want to just get a little bit of lift. And this brush is awesome for that. It's really good at moving hair and it's really nice because you can just like get a good soft little curve in it. You can see it right there. It has a little bit of a curve so that it gives it like a natural curve so it's not a totally big flat brush. So I like this one for flat wraps. Um, the round brush would give her a lot more body and make her hair really big. So she could style like that too, but for now we're doing the flat wrap. And I usually just go through and hand blow dry it for the first little bit just to get the extra moisture out. and just comb the hair as you blow dry it. And you're just kind of wrapping it around the head and blow drying the hair shaft down in the direction that it naturally grows. If you're blow drying it against the cuticle, it's going to make it look really fluffy and dry. If you blow dry with the cuticle down this way, it's going to give it a really pretty shine and it's going to make it like sleek and shiny and not fluffy. So yeah, always blow dry with the cuticle. And then you can just stick the brush underneath here and then use it as like a surface underneath to kind of hold the hair down. Kind of like a round brush, but flat. And you're not rolling it in a circle. done it's really nice and smooth and I am going to finish up her cut now with some detailed dry cutting 